Coldwater quarterback Jack Hemelgarn has thrown for over 2,700 yards and 33 touchdowns this season, leading the Cavs to their seventh straight state championship game. On Wednesday, the AP named Hemelgarn the Offensive Player of the Year in Division 5. It's amazing to think that this is his first season as the starter. Jack backed up D5 Player of the Year Brody Hoyne last season, but played in some important games down the stretch. Now as the full-time starter, Hemelgarn and the Cavs are going for their fourth straight state title. Playing last year uh, behind Brody when he got hurt, went down, was a good experience for me. I mean, all those guys helped me out with the whole offense line and the wide receivers helped me out last year a lot and the coaches helped me and the same thing this year. We got a great offense line, I got a ton of great skill guys to get the ball to. More than anything, just kind of leading by example, by, by the way he, he's played and prepared. Um, you know, certainly on offense uh, during the game, you know, he takes charge and he, he's working, working every day. He does what he's supposed to do. You follow the leader, I guess, so, so to speak, and try to do things right. Hemelgarn has done just about everything right this season, completing 72% of his passes for the 14-0 Cavaliers. Tomorrow morning, he expects his biggest challenge yet against the Canton Central Catholic team that Coldwater beat 62-21 in last year's state final. They're a good, solid, big team. They're, they're going to be ready to play, especially after last year's game. But last year's game really doesn't mean anything to us. we got to prepare like we always do at a high level. They're similar style. Um, again, they have a lot of new, new guys, new quarterback. Um, their, their featured uh, running back is the, is the running back in, one, in a different slot from last year. So I think on defense they're a little quicker. They got uh, four down linemen that are, I don't know if any of them are 200 pounds, so could pose a problem to our O line. As the Cavs prepare for game number 15, the dream of winning four straight is within reach for this senior class. It's what we've, us seniors, have been working for our whole, our whole four years. I mean, going into every season, the preparation we've gone, lifting, going to extra film session, all that stuff. So I mean, it would mean a lot for us seniors. I mean, we've worked just so hard for it and just got to do it one more time. You know that they've been together all these years. Uh, these guys are a group of, you know, core 10 or 12 guys that are just best buddies that hang out together all the time. And uh, to see them go out, I think, gosh, that would, that would make them at 57 and three for four years. That's pretty impressive. After high school, Jack plans to attend Bowling Green. But first, he's got one more football game to play. And what better way to end his football career than representing Coldwater at the Horseshoe? We have something special here, and we're very thankful for it. And the brotherhood that we have, us seniors and all the guys that play, just the bond you form with those guys, being in here with them every day, practicing with them, going through wins and losses with them, the community, the, the fans, obviously, coaches, the teammates, everything. I mean, let's just hope it keeps going after, after this. In Coldwater, I'm Matt Finkel for the Sports Report.